there friends, I'm B Sherlock, a certified yoga and meditation instructor and your teacher for today's practice. Today's practice focuses on tuning into our inner belief system and how it influences our choices. By using postures that challenge our body's current status quo, we draw ourselves to the present moment. By focusing our awareness on our mind's chatter, when the body is exposed to challenging positions, we become aware of the momentary thoughts that may prevent us from going further or even the thoughts and behaviours that push us to go too far too soon. We will work with patience and kindness to illustrate there's no rush. We show our minds, bodies and ourselves that there is value in patience and pace. Let's meet on the mat. Let's begin in child's pose. Draw the buttocks to the heels and release into a version of child's pose that speaks to you in this moment. You might be feeling the heart sinking closer to the earth in a wide-legged child's pose with the arms outstretched. Or perhaps your body's calling for a narrow gait with arms resting by the sides to open the heart to the sky through the upper back. Wherever this is for you today, settle in and root the breath at the seat. We'll take a few moments to guide the breath, remaining in and around the base of the spine. Inhale, witness the breath as it enters the pelvic floor. Exhale, notice the abdomen drawing to the spine. Slight contraction of the pelvic floor. Breathe. Allow a connection to cultivate between the breath, the body, the mind, and the earth. Bring the arms to reach the top of the mat if they aren't already outstretched. On the inhale, rise to all fours, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, draw the belly, lift the chin away from the chest, coming into cow pose. Tuck the toes as you exhale, push into the palms, sweep the tail to the sky, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Feet are hips, with, hips distance apart, knit the ribs, draw the elbows toward each other. Inhale, breath blossoms from the base of the spine. As you lower the knees to the mat, draw the buttocks back to the heels. Return to Balasana, child's pose. Inhale, rise to all fours. Lower the belly, broaden through the collar, cow pose. Exhale, tuck the toes, push through the palms. Raise the tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, knees to the mat, drawing the buttocks back to child's pose. There's a slight contraction of the pelvic floor. Take an exhale here. Inhale, rising into cow. Breath rises from the seat into the collarbone. Exhale, sweep the tail to the sky. Feel the navel draw to the spine, downward facing dog. Inhale, knees draw back to the mat. Buttocks comes back to the heels into balasana. Follow the breath into the heart. Exhale, notice the navel draws to spine. Good. Inhale now, rising to all fours, natural tabletop position. Tuck the toes, ground through the hands, fingers spread wide. On your next exhale, lift the tail to the sky, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, take a few steps to the top of the mat, finding a flat back from tail to crown, Adha Uttanasana. And as you exhale, folding forward, navel comes to thighs, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the hands overhead, draw the tail toward the earth, knit the ribs, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center, Samastiti. Drop the hands on the inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana, drawing the tail toward the heels, knit the ribs, shoulder blades melt down the back, thumbs point back. Exhale, followed by pelvic contraction, navel to thighs, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, finding that flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. 
Exhale, frame the front foot, step back into plank. Inhale, whole body activation here. Draw the elbows to the side body. Exhale, and with control, lower to the mat, chaturanga. Inhale, press into the palms, lift up through the chest and torso. Thighs are off the mat. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, curl the toes, ground through the knuckles, reach the sit bones up and strongly back, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, square the hips, three leg down dog. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest, round the spine as you step the right foot between the hands, coming into lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, rotate at the hips as the hands raise into the sky. Crescent lunge. Exhale now with control, lower the back knee to the mat. Inhale, breath rises out of the pelvis as you draw the abdomen back, tail down, draw back through the thumbs, extending through the spine. Exhale, navel draws to spine, slight pelvic contraction. Inhale, draw the lower ribs in as you deepen into the arch of the spine. Exhale, feel into any sensations of the body. Breathe here into the posture. One more breath. Good. Hinge at the front hip crease. Frame the front foot as you inhale. Step forward. Find a flat back. Hands to shins. Exhale. Folding forward. Uttanasana. Micro bend in the knees. Inhale. Sweep the hands overhead. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Coming into Samastiti. One more time for the left side as we build some fire here. We build internal fire. Inhale, drop the hands, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Tail draws towards the heels. Exhale, followed by pelvic contraction, navel to thighs, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, finding a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, framing the front foot, step back, coming into plank. Inhale, whole body activation here with the elbows drawing to the side body. And as you exhale with control, lower the body to the mat, Chaturanga. Inhale, press into the palms, lift up through the chest and torso, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, curl the toes, ground through the knuckles, reaching the sit bones up and strongly back, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweeping the left leg to the sky, squaring the hips, three leg down dog dog. Exhale, bring the knee to meet the chest, rounding the spine as you step the left foot between the hands, lunge pose. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, rotate at the hips, hands rise to the sky, crescent lunge. Exhale with control, lower the back knee here to the mat. Inhale, breath rises out of the pelvis as you draw the abdomen back, tail down, draw back through the thumbs, extending up through the spine. Exhale, navel draws to spine, slight pelvic contraction. Inhale, draw the low ribs in as you deepen into the arch of the spine. Exhale, feel into the sensations of the body. Breathe into the posture. One more breath here. Beautiful. Hinge at the front hip crease, frame the front foot as you inhale, step forward, find a flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana, gently lean into the fronts of the feet. Inhale, sweep the hands overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Beautiful. Just finding a moment here, catch your breath. Drawing yourself back to the present moment with the patience of the breath, slowing the pace. Breathe. Good. Come to find a seat on the mat. Draw the soles of the feet together, grasping the arches with your thumbs. Ground the seat to the earth, reach the crown to the sky. Imagine the crown being lifted with a luminous light from the seat right up to the sky. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips, release into the fold. 
Inhale, sense the breath as it rises out of the seat into the chest. And as you exhale, feel the strength of the abdomen as the navel draws to spine. One more breath here. Inhale, find length. Exhale, deepen into the fold. Beautiful. Rise out of the fold with your next inhale. Take the legs wide. Center of the heels come to the floor. Toes point upwards. Push up through the heels. Prop the pelvis up on a block or blanket here if you find that the sacrum doesn't tilt forward. We'll move gradually into this forward fold. We want to ensure that our spine is elongated at all times so there's no ground rounding of the back. So we press the backs of the legs down. Inhale, lengthen through the front body away from the pelvis. Exhale, don't rush here. Move slowly into the fold. You'll notice the body will release a little more after time. Only then do we allow the body to go further. So as we inhale, this is where we find patience. Where the mind goes, energy flows. Exhale, perhaps finding a little more depth as the body releases further. Recognize if you are fighting the pose. Use the breath to soften the body. Soften the mind's approach. Inhale, keep the length in the neck, ensuring an elongated spine. Exhale, again, allow the release. Perhaps you find more depth. Don't fight the pose. Remember, where the mind goes, energy flows. When we fight the pose, we are fighting ourselves. Be patient here. Use the breath to guide the pace. Remember the strength of your core. Remain grounded and connected to expand the experience of remaining present. We refrain from pushing too far too soon. But we also refrain from releasing out of the posture, out of fear. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. Beautiful. Draw the hands to the hips. Engage the core as you inhale and rise out of the fold. Bring the thighs to meet now, extending the legs out long. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Find the extension through the spine. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips, folding forward. Hands can come to the knees, the shins or the heels, wherever the body is open to today. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, deepening into the fold. Maintaining the length in the spine. One more breath here. Good. Rise out of the fold with your next inhale, engaging the core to support the lift. Find a supine position now. Draw the right knee to the chest. Extend the right arm to the side and gently draw the right knee across the body with the left hand. Inhale, follow the breath out of the seat through the twist into the collarbones. Exhale, navel draws to spine, gentle contraction of the pelvic floor. Shoulders remain grounded. As we inhale, we lengthen through the spine. And as we exhale, we deepen into the twist. Take an inhale. And on the next exhale, gently release out of the twist. Extend the right leg long. Draw the left knee into the chest now, extending the left arm out to the side. Gently draw the left knee across the body with the right hand. Inhale, allow the breath out of the seat, through the twist and into the collarbones. 
And as you exhale, the navel draws to spine, gentle contraction of the pelvic floor. Shoulders remain grounded. Inhale, find length through the spine. Exhale as you deepen into the twist. Take an inhale. And exhale. Gently release out of the twist now, extending the left leg long. With the legs extended, feet about hips width apart, allow the feet to gently fall to the sides of the mat. Arms are slightly away from the body. Lengthen through the neck as you draw the chin away from the chest. And notice the natural curve of the spine here. Relax the jaw. Close down the eyes. Become aware of the breath. Recognize the ease of the breath, its gentle inflow, peaceful outflow. Find patience with the breath. Notice how the momentum of the breath eventually falls into place. It naturally finds an ease. Gradually now, deepen the exhale, slowing the pace. Extending each exhale's length. Pace yourself. Focus on cultivating patience and gradual pace with the breath. After each exhale, pause without strain. Observe the space residing in the pause. Continue now with this exploration of the extended exhale and the pause in between. Bring your awareness back to the breath. It may have returned to its natural rhythm with its gentle inflow and peaceful outflow. Simply observe it without altering it in any way. If you are able, feel free to remain here in a blue scout Shavasana. Otherwise, let's begin with movement of the fingers and the toes. A slight rock of the head and neck. And when you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side and observe here.
push up through the palms of your free arm. Come to find a comfortable seat. Sweep the arms overhead, drawing on the energy of your universe as the palms meet. Allow the hands to find their way to heart centre. Take an inhale here into the base of the spine. Witness as the breath spills into the navel and fills the heart patiently and slowly. The breath releases through the mouth with a gentle sigh. The light in me honours the light in you. Namaste. I hope you were able to cultivate some patience, find a calming pace and some peace in today's practice. Thank you for joining me and thank yourself for making the time to find a moment of stillness in your day. I recommend this meditation on the breath to really reap the rewards of your patient practice today. The body and mind is prepared now for a brief vacation in meditation. Why not give it a go? Please share this practice if you know someone who would benefit and give it a thumbs up to help my content be seen by others. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you see when all my new content is released. Keep making magic in this world from your space at your own pace. Namaste. Drink a little water.